Hello. Welcome back to the £500 to £15,000 challenge. We've got two new cars for this series now. So let's have a look, shall we? First up is this. Skoda Roomster with about 116,000 miles on the clock on a 61 plate cost me a thousand pounds heard it whistling as I pulled up just then and that is obviously the reason it's as cheap as it is yeah I think this is the first time I've ever driven one been in one, this does some it, folds up, all these rear seats, sort of adjustable, slide back and forth, yeah, it's, 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 it is what it is, it's alright, not much wrong with it really, the bodywork is pretty clean, and yeah, I found this on Facebook, uh, yeah, just message message the owners, obviously. And uh, yeah, went to see it the day after I messaged. Uh, my plan was to hopefully get it for about eight hundred quid, but the uh, yeah the owner was telling me that they'd only paid three thousand for it in May, so I felt a bit cheeky, sort of you know, offering less than what they were asking for. So I gave them a thousand quid. But this is going to be my daily for a while because the beamer I think hopefully my brother's buying that so I'm gonna need something to knock about in that's gonna be this um, until I get something else um, yeah before we move on to that which was our free car well kind of free um, the Ford Fusion now that didn't go as I had hoped, but to be fair, I didn't really put any effort into fixing any of the bodywork issues. So a lad at work, somebody he knows, I think a friend of a family member was after a cheap car. They just come back from Australia, um, so they asked if I had out for sale. Fusion was the first thing, first thing that came to mind. Uh, they came to see it, like did that afternoon, and then. By the time I'd got home from work, yeah, it was a done deal, it was gone. I got 650 quid for it. <laughs> However, um, it needed an MOT, which I don't think I've been charged for. I did it through work. So I get a certain amount free through work. But it did need a tyre to get through, which was £36, some at pence. <laughs> so we'll remove that from here. And I think that is that balance up to date. And now let's have a look at this Corsa. So this is car number two. And 2006. Vauxhall Corsa 1.4. Automatic. This is done. 60, 63,000 miles. Uh, what can I say? It's a car to see. I think everybody in the country has seen one, been in one. Yeah. Knows what one is. This, to be honest, has been sat here for definitely a month, probably getting towards two months now. So it's time I did something with it. It came into work. Um, cutting out apparently, it cut out and then engine light was on. So yeah, I scanned it and whatnot. And there was throttle pedal fault. There was a fuel relay fault. <clears throat> so obviously I cleared all the cords. The throttle pedal was the one that came back got into it, found that there was a 5 volt feed missing to that throttle pedal 
um, sort of bridged it from the other five volt feed that's there. There's two five five volt feeds to that throttle pedal. So yeah, so bridged it. The fault went. Um, something happened before that, and we test driven it a bit, but it had never cut out on us. So yeah, obviously bridged this, test drove it, got back to the garage, and as I was pulling up, sort of just idling on the forecourt, it cut out. So I thought, right, that's not good. I thought I'd fixed it. So we'll go under the bonnet now, and I will show you how it is at the moment and then obviously as the engine warms up and components underneath there warm up this is when the fault occurs so back it up a bit so I'm not working in the brambles Does that even pull? Yeah. Look at that. One point four Eco Tech. Belt driven, not chain driven, which can only be a good thing. So under here, we have a relay for the fuel pump, I think it's this one. So if I take that out, this should stop running. Yeah, I can't hear the fuel pump prime in there. So, put it back in. See if the fuel, fuel pump primes. It does, I can hear it. <clears throat> so now, with ignition on, we're going to need some tools. Now, when I did it at work, I did use a test light and, well, two test lights. One with a LCD, obviously, it's sort of multimeter type display. The other was just a, an incandescent bulb in there, obviously applying a load to the circuit. So I'm hopefully going to try and demonstrate the same thing with this. I've bought this, I haven't used it. It's a load pro by Electronic Specialties. There's a guy on there that obviously revs about how good that is and uh, yeah well we will see won't we I don't see why it shouldn't be but anyway we need to try and get in under here whilst this relay is still sort of half in so I'm going to try and set that up now right to be honest with you I can't remember the test that I did like I said it was well over two months ago now but uh yeah, one of the pins in this relay I was applying a load to couldn't handle the voltage once the engine was up to temperature. And that's why it was cutting out. I think it's the ECU which is sort of tucked under this engine cover, bolted onto the side of the cylinder head. Um, just gonna let it warm up. It'll cut out, and then uh, yeah, up there and show you what I did. It is a common fault on these. Um, I think AC Tronic was the website I was going to use to have it repaired. Um, I tried ECU testing, they didn't list the part number on this ECU, so I had to find somewhere else. I think it's about 250 quid to send it away, have it repaired, um, which when the car hasn't cost me anything so far, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it should be 1500 quid car in my mind anyway low mileage timing belt was done At some point it's in the book as it's been done so we'll see we'll come back when this is cut out and isn't starting right i've just dropped the bonnet on it and that's hopefully going to just trap the heat in and allow it to warm up a bit quicker 
Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too dark either. It's about nine o'clock now in the evening. I mean, it is summer, but I can still tell the lighting isn't best for some of these camera shots. So, yeah. I could drive it, I suppose, but it's not tax, it's not insured. I think it's MOT'd, but yeah, so it's just down at this yard. My boss owns this yard, he said I could park it here. So, yeah, obviously I don't want to take the piss, so I decided uh, to, yeah, do some work on it, get it repaired, hopefully get it sold pretty soonish. I'm hoping this is going to be, well, it's not the quickest sale now, is it? But from starting work on it up until it's sold, I'm hoping it's going to be the quickest sale. <laughs> right, it's just cut out and that didn't take a quarter of the time I was expecting it to. So if I go and try and crank this now. Unless it's run out of fuel. <laughs> no, there's nearly half a tank in that. Nothing, it was on the on the button before. So still got this relay in. Let me try and figure out what it is that's happening. So I think we had twelve volts here, twelve volts there. This was twelve volts on ignition. Not on ignition, was it? With it, oh, I can't remember now. Let's get the multimeter. Right, so let me try and show you. So it's this relay here. So on this pin, there's not even 12 volts anymore. This pin, nothing. That pin, there's not even 12 volts. But as soon as you press this button, which obviously applies the load to the circuit, drops right off to zero. So that. And this one's the same. I'm pretty sure it was this one that was causing issues last time, but could be wrong. Yes, so... To me, that says that, that circuit is bad. Now, I have checked the wiring from this relay to that ECU, and I'm happy that it is good. Um, so, yeah. Better get that whipped off and sent away. I've got no other tools with me. T30s on there, and I can't remember what holds it on down there. I think it was T30s again, to be fair. So I'll get it whipped off and sent away probably tomorrow on my dinner now. And then when it's repaired, we can test what's going on here again. And hopefully, see that's gone up. That was nine. Now we're back on almost 12 volts, but press the button and it still doesn't like it. So something in that ECU was broken down somewhere. Yeah. I'll see you again. I've got a repaired ECU in hand. Maybe a week or so. Yeah. Right then, it's a few days later now, and I've got a package. If I didn't mention before, AC Tronics is the company I've used to uh, rebuild this ECU. And on speed of service, I have to say they are uh, the best company that I've used. I've used BBA Reman before once or maybe twice so i can't have been that impressed with their service ecu testing is one that i go to quite frequently um i don't think i've ever had a package back as fast as this but obviously speed isn't everything we need to get this plugged in and see whether it's going to uh have fixed the issue now they did say on the phone that if there's problems, then they do tend to need sort of immobiliser stuff with the key and the instrument cluster and whatever else. But I'm hoping because it was only 
a fuel pump circuit and 5 volt feed from the throttle pedal nothing in the immobiliser side of things should have been touched but who knows so we'll get this chucked on get it started and then it literally ran for about 5 minutes before it cut out the other day so I think we'll run it for 10 and then we'll go for a quick spin see what happens now as ECUs go this is a fairly simple one to uh, remove and replace or whatever uh, it's just four bolts sort of on the side here it's not tucked away under trim and behind sort of wheel arch liners however I've got a feeling that the heat generated by the engine and whatnot is what has contributed to its failure so yeah I think I'd rather have one that's <clears throat> less accessible but isn't going to get damaged as this one has uh, we're just on <clears throat> four T30s on each corner and obviously with this bracket as well There we go, and then uh, a couple of plugs to put back on. Is that the bottom one? I think that might be the top one. I don't know. Or is it the bottom one? Fuck knows. Is definitely the bottom one. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> yes, and then these are two sensors. One plugging back together. Do you know what? I didn't bring my scanner. That was silly of me. Bloody hell. There's going to be some fault codes to clear. That just slides on there. Nice. <coughs> One thing I think we're going to have to take off under here. Oh, put the fucking panel back on. Because there was a 5 volt feed missing on this throttle pedal, I'm pretty sure I'd bridged the wires. Oh, fucking hell. Bear with me. Okay, yeah, so these two wires here are the 5 volt feeds for the throttle position sensors or accelerator pedal position sensors one of them wasn't there so what I did obviously was just bridge the two but now that ECU has been repaired we can get rid of that I'll we'll have to get a bit of yeah liquid electrical tape I think from work and just touch this copper up Yeah, we'll get that back on and then frap it up. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. Well, she starts, so that means the immobiliser side of things is all good. 
just going to drop the bonnet now let it run for 10 minutes if it doesn't cut out we'll go for a cheeky little drive right we've been running for about 15 minutes now and she's fucking mint not cut out once so <clears throat> I'm gonna go for a little spin now I haven't got my suction cup mount so I'm not sure how I can set camera up but we'll see what happens right we've got air con which is nice and chilly I hope this doesn't cut out brakes are a bit grindy but it has been sat for a little while has got MOT until February, I think, 2023, and I'm sure in here. So had the timing belt done. Sixth of the second, 2020, look. Tooth belt, tension and roller. Water pump at Northwest Autos in Blackburn. So that is a job I don't have to do. Although, I can do timing belts, honest. I don't think I've ever done one on the channel. But I swear I can do them, promise. Just gonna go for a little drive. Just got the phone, camera, sandwiched between the headrest and the chair. Hopefully it doesn't fall out we'll just go this way oh stamp on the brakes a bit get them cleaned up like I can say it's been sat oh, that air con's beautiful Do I take it home right now and give it a cheeky little clean? Won't hurt, will it? Get it up for sale. Mm, yeah, I think we'll go somewhere and get some forties. Get some pictures of it. Just to be honest, it looks pretty clean from a distance and in a photo it'll look pretty tidy. Yeah, there's a plan. <clears throat> Temp gauge is nearly showing that it's uh, warm so I'm pretty confident this is fixed Woo! and I barely had to get my hands dirty yeah boy and on the subject of that we better uh, update our balance now it was, was it 270 pounds there or thereabouts to have this ECU rebuilt so we'll remove that from the money that we have where are you going So, <clears throat> the 
usually just fucking bob in here, take some pictures and stuff. It's quiet and out of the way. There we are.